Day four of the Oscar Pistorius trial saw graphic testimony emerge. On the stand was Johann Stupp, Pistorius's neighbor and a doctor. He had rushed to the house after he heard gunshots and was there as Riva Stienkamp lay dying. There was blood and hair and what looked like brain tissue intermingled with that to the right, high parietal area of the skull. During that time, while I was trying to ascertain if she is survivable, um, Oscar was crying all the time. He um, prayed to God to please let her live, she must not die. He said at one stage while, while he was praying that he will dedicate his life and her life to God if she would just only live and, and not die that night. The court was shown pictures of the dead model's body, which added to the emotion of Stipp's testimony. It was too much for Pistorius, who bent over to hide his face, covering his ears and wiping his eyes when he finally sat up again. The NPA's Nadia Mklube says, despite some glitches, including a witness's cell phone number being broadcast, what proceedings have run smoothly so far. I think what, what we did to all realize is that uh, it is a learning experience for all of us. And, and remember that uh, what happens in court, everybody, including the defense and probably the witnesses and the prosecutors, are not conscious of the fact that there are cameras there. So people are doing what they would have done in any other court situation. So we, we are not reading, you know, I don't think there was any malice in it. I think it's something, and there was an apology that was offered in court to the witness. As the first week comes to an end, public interest remains high with hordes of people turning up at court every day in the hopes of catching a glimpse of the Paralympian. Oscar! <laughs> Barry Bateman, Eyewitness News, Oscar Pistorius Trial.